It's been crazy, this whole storyline, hasn't it? Because we thought, when we were watching, we thought that was it, you, that he had killed you. I know, and keeping that a secret for months on end when was... you got your script, you know, when it said you were going to be gone, did you mm. just think, oh, well, that's the end of that? No, thing? I knew, I knew. You knew they I told knew all you? Along. Oh, I knew all along. You I... kept that quiet. I know. So I that, know. as you were saying, that must have been really difficult. Yeah, I, I, basically, I, um, I knew, I knew... I was I was leaving the first the first time round. Right. Uh, not that I'm leaving the second time round, but <laughs> right. but, uh, but I knew I was. Uh, it, it was an exit storyline. Sure. And uh, Kate Oates, our producer, uh, pulled me in, um, and just before I left, and said, "No, we've got this idea. It's right. not. It's going to be about six months, seven months time. So right. there's going to be a bit of bit of a." a bit of a pause, a bit of a hiatus, would you be on board? And I was like, absolutely, I think I know, cos you didn't want fantastic. to leave. Of course you don't want to no, leave. No, no, and I, I think what what we did, which has never really been done in a soap before, is it, there were no kind of spoilers for the press. There were Nobody no knew. tidbits. I know. Like, no, nope. no, no one knew anything, I know. so... You kept it really quiet, though. Did, could you not even tell your family or anything? Well, my family sort of knew what I was. Well, they must have you were going to. I was like, I'm disappearing for for weeks. I'm in I'm in I'm in Manchester. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Like, I'm in a cellar. Why have you got a massive beard? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it must be so strange. Yeah. But like, not what? Because of, of course, people, members of the public, would be coming up to you and saying, "Oh, what a shame!" and all that terrible feeling, and you weren't yeah. able to say anything yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. And and people were saying, "Oh, well, you know, how are auditions going? What's happening?" I'm like, oh, "No, nah, nothing's on the really... horizon." Yeah. All the while, you're filming all those scenes. Exactly. Yeah. Where where is the cellar? Is it near? Is it in Coronation Street? Or is no, it... it's um, they've rented a massive studio space um, in Manchester, right? And it's purpose built the cellar, so it's not it's not um, actually in situ. It's not in right. a house or it's anything. Not a real cellar. No, no, no. Oh, okay. But they they basically the attention to detail is fantastic, and, and it's really grimy and grotty. Yes. And when you when you go in there, you really feel kind of. It, it's damp and it's dark and, and there's not really much acting required. Poor guy. I mean, yeah, I know, but poor guy. And it's obviously you two of you are doing your scenes together all the time because mm. you're not interacting with anyone else no, right now. No. So that must be... I mean, you, I know the two of you got on really well together. You, you'd uh, have to, though, we'd have, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a love... Right. Connor's an absolutely brilliant right. actor and he's a lovely man yeah. to work with. Um, <laughs> he's not scary, then. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. <laughs> They're running away. Um, but we, we sort of just found this way of working where we'd... We'd really pick apart the script, and, and that's been part of the joy, actually, of doing the storyline. Um, when you're handed a script like that as an actor, all you want to do with every fibre of your being is, is do it the utmost justice. Of course. And, and really, cut, you know, more, more so than ever, just go to the, these extreme lengths mm. that we've, we've kind of been to. Oh, I know, and the thing is, it is unravelling for him now. It has to, it absolutely mm. has to. But what's so interesting, I don't know what happens, but I would be... Neither do I, I, don't I, don't Neither do I. <laughs> You do, so I don't believe anything <laughs> you say anymore. But, but, no. when, but what would be interesting is how on earth that's changed him. You know, it's, it's got to have changed him in that situation. And if he does survive yeah. and he does come back to... has to readjust to normal life, that's going to be so difficult. Yeah, well, I, I think this whole notion of... of his he's he's tried to fight feel him physically yeah. he's tried to plead with him mm -hmm. nothing's working this idea that he's created of bringing someone else on board he's he's seen an opportunity here uh, that that feeling kind of needs someone to to bully in a way he yeah, needs yeah. control over someone so he's seen this opportunity and gone that's that's my last resort that's how I can get almost. out of here i'm not getting out of here yeah, yeah. It's been it's been eight months now, locked up in this in this oh. basement. I'm so glad that he let you out. We'll get For you back. One day. I might have to go back. I mean, I'm so like... sorry. It's a nightmare. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get you some chocolate or something. I worry about him down there. I worry about him. So <laughs> lovely to see you. Thank you. Great to Thank see you. you. Thank you, Thank Miller. You.